Hey guys, I'm Vinny, and today I'm going to be talking a little bit about this week's discussion, which is about the glory and the holiness of God in the book of Ezekiel. So we can see that the glory and holiness of God, there are two important themes in this book. Ezekiel, he has two different visions in chapter 1, 2, and 3, and the other one can be found in chapter 8, 9, 10, and 11. His encounter with the Lord throughout the entire book shows us how glorious and holy God is. Even though he is this powerful and unique being, he still showed Ezekiel, a mere human, who he was. And Ezekiel 1 verse 28 says, Like the appearance of a rainbow in the clouds on a rainy day, so was the radiance around him. This experience that Ezekiel had shows us that Ezekiel understood that he was seeing God. But even though he knew that he was seeing God, the way that he describes it is as he was seeing a glimpse of God. The word, the Hebrew word that he uses is kadav, which is the physical appearance or a manifestation of something that you see. And in that case, a manifestation of God. And still in that same verse, Isaiah says that he that when he saw the glimpse of God, he fell face down. So from this first vision, we can learn two things. The first thing is that even though God is glorious and holy, he still wants to reveal himself to us. He still wants a relationship with, with us, his creation, his children. And as you, we get to know him, we are transformed by him. And the second thing that we can learn from this vision is that his holiness requires a response from us. Ezekiel has a vision of God and understand that his glory and holiness is something great. And that that's why he 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 falls face down. He understand that he did not deserve to see him. And that's why he had this reverence and the fear of the, of the Lord in him. Seeing God, knowing who he truly is, awakens two things, two things in us, the desire to know him and also reverence. And the second vision that Ezekiel has is found in chapters 8 through 10. And God takes him to the temple where he can see and watch elders worshiping other gods. He sees a statue in the courtyard and the woman of Israel worshiping the God of Babylon. And the vision ends with God's chariot leaving the temple. And this symbolized God's presence leaving his people, leaving the temple and going towards the, the, the Babylonians. So this shows us that, yes, God is holy. He is loving, yet he, requ he requires us the same things. He doesn't require require perfection from us but he wants us to be obedient he he requi requires obedience from us his people you cannot say that you are a children of light if the the way that you live your actions are actually from the, you you imitating the people of darkness you know so we can see here that God did not abandon his people. His people abandoned him first. They were the ones that broke the covenant. And even though they did so, at the end of the chapter, God says that there will be a time where his people will be redeemed. And once again, they will be called God's people. And this is God pointing towards the coming of Jesus. So overall, overall, both visions shows us that God is glorious and loving, yet he is justice and he is also holy.